I'm inspired by people's interactions with me. I like to make people feel like they have superpowers by interacting with a product that I might make. I like to cause people to be curious. And I think curiosity is liberating. My name is Jessica Banks. I have a background in physics and then went to grad school in robotics, started a company that is based on kinetic furniture and also have experience on TV involving the very technical aspects of renovation. I was extremely lucky to be able to go to MIT as an adult. That allowed me access to curiosity that I think I must have had when I was young. When I became aware of this rebirth of wonder, I realized that that's something that I had to foster. When I was at MIT, I learned to machine things. I had never really built stuff before. That, along with being able to understand from a system standpoint how everything is made, tremendously eye-opening. I think cultivation of curiosity has to do with a listening for those moments when just the world taps you on the shoulder and says, look over here. I dare myself to do things during the day that make me vulnerable, but also that give me tremendous amounts of feedback about how the world will respond to me. And so that helps me stay curious, like actively curious. So small examples, there could be telling a joke to a stranger or helping someone in a certain way that they need help or offering to help sell a scarf on a subway. A lot of them are social. And I think that has helped build confidence for me in terms of how I interact with people. Our float table, which is a magnetically levitating table, was designed through a process of many different iterations. It started with just quite simply, I misunderstood something I saw. I saw a blank space in between two things that wasn't there for a second, and it made the things look like they were levitating. And I thought, well, what if this could actually be reproducible? So I decided to make a table. But the process is really about understanding the physics, trying to reconcile it with this murky idea that I have around what the end design could be. The process continues after the product is done because then you get to see, which is really the product, people's interaction with that object. Often, I can see them stop and realize that they just moved something and then they didn't know how it was working. And I can see those machinations happen in real time as if they're trying to figure out exactly what is going on. And to me, inspiring curiosity from other people like that is chef's kiss. The TV work was definitely outside of my comfort zone. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. It's a great example of showing people how notions of design and even very technically oriented design can be transformational from an aesthetic standpoint and from a functional standpoint. Often we hear people talk about, find your passion. To me, if you can follow your curiosity instead of feeling the pressure of needing to have a passion, then you can live a very well-designed and joyful life.